Hey everybody, it's Tessa from Meyer Hatchery. Spring is finally here and it's time to decorate the house. So today we're gonna be making some cute spring decorations for your table or your mantle that will of course be chicken themed. So what you need for this is you're gonna need some empty jars. I've got an assortment here, which I've already kind of pre-painted a little bit, but when you're looking at jars, you wanna make sure they're either smooth or you can add one of these in that's like a crystallized jelly jar. Though if you are doing this um, craft with children, I would suggest this one not be used with kids because it is harder to get um, a coat of paint on the textured glass. So these one, uh, this one right here that has the crystallizing on the jar, I'm going to do that one and I'm going to make that one a little fancy. So um, as long as there's no writing and the outside is smooth, that's a great jar. And like this one I think was like pasta sauce. This definitely was mayonnaise. So you don't have to reach into your canning collection to steal jars for this. Um, so what I've done with these is I've pre-painted them and I'm letting those dry over here so that my kids can help me with them when we get to the second coat. But I'm gonna show you what we're doing with this crystallized jelly jar. So I've got some pretty whimsical colors over here because these are gonna turn into some little chickens um, that you can either put a light in or you can put flowers in the top for a decoration. Um, so we've got some whimsical springish chick colors, but I'm also gonna show you how to make one that looks more realistic like a chicken if you wanted to create a little chicken family. So I've got some colors of paint here because I'm gonna do this in layers. Whatever we add first is what's gonna show up on the outside. So what I wanna do is I wanna go through on my crystallized jelly jar and I'm gonna make some V shapes all throughout this so that when it dries and I paint on a background, you'll be able to see that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using some black and some dark brown just so that I have some pretty good contrast with the color of feathers that I choose. So I'm just putting a drop of some acrylic paint on here and I'm gonna be using a small fine tipped brush. So this is a round brush um, that comes to a point. When I painted these and when I paint them again later, I'm gonna be using more of a flat brush. I've got an angled one here um, because it's hard to get in some of those cracks. So I'm gonna take my small round brush and throughout my crystal jar, I'm gonna be adding in some V shapes. Now these do not have to be perfect. I'm just making almost like a lacing like you'd see um, in some of your hens, like if you had like a pencil rock or a barna velder, that lacing that they have that's especially beautiful. I'm gonna add some V's in here to make a nice background and I'm gonna do it in both black and brown. And then when it dries, I'm gonna go over that inside with some tan. So as I finish this, I'm gonna switch over to brown and then we'll take a little bit of a pause so you can see what it looks like once it dries because right now it looks not so great. So we'll be right back. So while this little jar dries, I'm gonna pop back over to these that I had painted earlier to add a second coat because when you don't have these in the sunlight, they look completely painted. But then when I hold them up to the sun, I can see some paint marks and some streaks in there that I wanna cover up just because I want them to look a little better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint another layer inside here using one of my bigger brushes so that I have even distribution. And when I'm doing that, I'm gonna be putting my paintbrush all the way to the bottom and then pulling all the way to the top and not going around in a circle or not doing it in little strokes. The one big stroke from the bottom all the way up to the top is what's gonna make that outside smooth. Because if you go side to side, or you go around in a circle, it's gonna make little paintbrush marks that you're able to see from the outside. And if you are turning these into almost like a luminary, you don't wanna see those brush marks. So let's get a second coat on these, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna decorate them to look like chicks. All right, I'm back and everything is dry. So first what I'm gonna do so that this has time to dry from its second coat is um, this jar that I painted the barring on, I'm gonna go ahead and um, paint a new layer over top. So I'm gonna take some of this tan paint, so it's called Classic Caramel, and I am going to spread that over top of what I already painted. 
Uh, now this is gonna make it so that that really pops, which you can see now, which is kind of the same color as the table, but you can really see my barring now. So I'm not gonna do this slowly because I wanna go fast and get as much of this on there as I can because if we let it sit, the wetness of the paint might pull up the old paint. So I don't wanna go over it too many times. I just wanna get a nice, pretty thin layer of the tan behind my barring, making sure it goes all the way up to the top of the jar. And you can see I'm still using that one big motion from bottom to top so that I don't have streaking going all the way around. All the way, all the way. Okay. So now that I've got that layer on, I'm gonna let this one rest off to the side while I do a little bit of decorations for um, the bigger ones. So we're just gonna set that brush here, set you over here to dry. Now, um, with my yellow and blue jars, I'm gonna start adding some of the details to these. So I have my glue gun. I have various googly eyes in different sizes and I have some um, decorative ribbon that I'm going to use on these before I put some extra details in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using googly eyes for the face. I also have some little pieces of felt that I cut out for their beaks but you could paint them on. So what we're going to do is we're going to hot glue the eyes on. I'm going to hot glue on the beaks. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of paint to, to um, on one, just put a little waddle just for fun. So um, let me get this on here. Let's see. I'm gonna use the bigger eyes for this jar so that it doesn't look like it's squinting, I suppose. So I'm just gonna put on the face that I like the best, which is right here. I'm gonna put two little dots, one, two of glue, Stick on my little Google eyes. There we go. Eyes intact. Now I do have a little beak here that I'm gonna put on. This one looks kind of like a duck. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on here. Put my beak on. Maybe I should have made this one a duck. That would have been cute. Okay, so I've got a beak and I've got eyes on this. So I'm gonna use my small brush with just a tiny bit of red paint um, so that it doesn't look as whimsical. It really looks like a bird. And I am going to just really carefully um, put some waddles on here or maybe even like a little bit of a comb. So I'm gonna just do waddles on either side of the beak really quick and I'll show you. So these are just half circles on either side of the beak just for a little pop of color um, and so that people know that it's a chicken. So I've got two little pops of color on either side for waddles. Just make sure they're even. There you go. Oh, you've got one bigger waddle than the other one. Nobody wants that. Fix that. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna leave it without a comb. I'm gonna leave it just like this and let that dry. But what I'm gonna be doing to the top part, I'll show you on this smaller jar, is I'm gonna take some of this ribbon um, and I'm just gonna be threading it around the top if I can get it open. So here we go. Now you can use yarn, you can use um, fabric ribbon. This is just some like crepe paper ribbon that I had on hand. So I'm using that because it's been in the drawer forever. So it's time for it to go. So here I am, I'm just gonna start wrapping this and I'm actually gonna leave a little bit of this curl down below so that um, it looks like the greens because I am gonna be filling this with some crystallized feathers that I made not too long ago, um, which you can also find a YouTube video for because it's super pretty. So I'm gonna wrap this around so we have a little bit of a different color and I'm gonna leave some tails on it um, and then I'm gonna stick in some of our feathers. So let's give this some time to dry and then I'm gonna finish decorating and show you what we've got. All right, we just finished up everything and here are our final projects. So there's different things that you can do with these depending on what you have on hand or what you wanted to buy. So I used only stuff that I had for my own house. So these are some fake flowers. If you do decide to put fake flowers down in, make sure that um, 
the bottoms aren't too jagged you could put like a piece of paper towel in down in the bottom before you put them in because the wire at the end of the fake flowers can scrape away the paint so just make sure you protect the inside of the jar before you put anything sharp inside this one here i've got some of my crystal feathers that we made uh, not that long ago in there um, which is a video you can find on youtube and then i also went outside and cut some uh, branches off my boxwood tree so that it had a nice green pop and then this is just a little succulent that has its own pot that I stuck down inside the top. So by using things that we have on hand, now we have a nice fresh spring decoration and we're ready for the season. So be sure to like and subscribe because we have lots of awesome springtime videos for you to watch and share. And then if you have any questions at all, be sure to visit us at MeyerHatchery.com. Have a great day, everyone.